So the foundations of PYD, youth-friendly outcomes, developmental needs of youth, developmental assets, and resiliency. The first one we're going to do is why. It says why. Why do we do the things that we do? Is it for the money? OK, you could give me a response. It's OK, okay. Oh, no. right? <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> but really, we didn't choose it for the money, right? We all have things that we're trying to do with our young people that we're trying to do for our young people. And one of the things that there are actually uh, grounded in research outcomes that every youth program should achieve, OK? There's five of them. And I have to slide this back over. There's five. I'll just use the front page. Here we go. There's five. There's five outcomes of why we do the things we do. And the crazy thing is about these five things is that they're all C words. Say that in a group of youth. I want you to brainstorm for me. And I want you to tell me what, why we do the work we do, what are our outcomes going to be. And they all begin with the letter C. There's no right or wrong answer. OK? So what are we trying to achieve in all this stuff we do for youth? Anybody? Comfort. Comfort. <laughs> Comfort is a good one, but not one of the main outcomes, right? We want youth to be comfortable in our program. OK? Confidence. Confidence. Confidence is definitely one of our five C's. We're trying to create confident young people. There's no hiding that. Caring? Caring is a good one. Can be linked with some of the other outcomes. It was a good job. It was a good one. <laughs> Commitment. It's, it is, but not necessarily as that. Oh, sorry. Did I do that? Citizenship? Citizenship. That's a really good one. That's a soft C. <laughs> Citizenship. But not one of our big, big ones. Not yet. Go ahead. Yes, dear. Community. Community. All of these link to the five main. I'll show you how when we get them. <laughs> competence. Competence is definitely one. Does everybody know what competence means? It means that you're good at something, anything. Right? You're good at something. Communication. Uh, okay. It's a good one. We do want them to be able to communicate. We want them to be able to talk to us. We want them to be able to have those skills. We want them to be competent at communicating. Creative. Creativity. That's my favorite one, but it's not one of the big ones. <laughs> <laughs> because to me, creativity isn't having the glitter fairy throw up on you. It's, it's, about, <laughs> it's about thinking, you know, that old adage, thinking outside of the box. It's taking what is the mundane and making it freaking awesome. You're thinking of one, I can tell. No, mine's stolen. Somebody stole it. <laughs> Jennifer? Um, to contribute. Contributing is one. <laughs> Jason, what do you got in the back? Collaboration. Collaboration? Uh, hey, again, that's one of those things, right? We want them to be confident working with other people, confident at working with other people. They contribute by collaborating with other people. See, they all do link together. OK, so we've got two, we've, or three. We've got confident, competent, and contributing. There's two more. Character. character. Everybody knows a character, right? When we think of the, the word character right away, we think, oh, he's a character, right? But character really is understanding who you are and how you're going to fit into the world. That's how we create our character. Uh, critical thinking. Critical thinking. Very important, right? We want young people to be able to, to think through processes. OK? Sorry? Consequences. It's good. Well, they have to understand there's consequences to their action. That's what building character is, right? If you're going to go steal that car, there's consequences for that. What, what kind of character do you want to be? If you're going to shoot that three-point layup, right? What are the consequences? I'll give you the last one because it's close to what everybody has here. And that's connected. 
or connections, connections, connected, right? Which is that community, that citizenship, that commitment, right? These are the five C's. This is why we do youth programming. This is what our outcomes are. If we run a cooking program for 13-year-old boys, because boys love the culinary arts, right? So 13-year-old uh, cooking program for boys. An outcome or outcomes of that aren't just the fact that they can go home and cook a nutritional meal with the proper portion sizes, understanding the effects of the calorie intake they're taking. We're teaching them those skills to build some confidence and some competency within the kitchen area. But they're also learning how they can contribute to their family, to their community, you know, to the church dinner if you know, it's something they can help out with. We're helping them build character. They're not good with the measuring cup. Don't give that kid the knife because he's going to cut his finger off. You know, who they are and how they fit. Most importantly, they're feeling connected to the other boys they're cooking with, to the organization that they're associated with. That's how easy it is to break that in, to show. Five outcomes. Every time we do a program, ask yourself, are we building confidence? Are we increasing competency? Are we making them contributors? Is their character being developed? And are they making connections? Competence is really the ability and the motivation to, to do well, right? Civically, socially, culturally, physically, emotionally, all those things. You know, we talk about, um, you know, I'm from rural Ontario and I have friends who work in downtown Toronto. And there are different issues happening with our young people, right? There's no doubt. You know, my biggest issue in downtown rural Ontario is different than the biggest issue in, in you know, parts of the mega city. But the bottom line is, we're all looking for the same outcome. Because if young people are achieving these outcomes, then we start to create those communities that are healthy and strong. Okay? All right? Any questions about the five C's? Everybody understands really nice, easy catchphrases that you can share with parents who come and ask you about the program. Why are you doing that? Why do you do that as part of the program? Well, because it helps them understand what it means to be contributing to a larger picture. We're teaching them. Because trust me, if, we have, if every adult in the world had these five characteristics, the world would be, we wouldn't have to worry about hunger or world peace. Everybody would be working together and the world would be totally different.